Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, episode 128. 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 40 plus 14 plus 7 plus 7 is 128. Cause math. But you got it right. I think I did too. Is this a shadow or a hair? Yep, just a shadow. Okay. Okay. But my hair was out of place. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, friends. Uh, this. What? This is a YouTube channel about cross stitch. To Mr. Q. Sorry. I'm the mom. She's the daughter. Yes. Just in case. This is a mother daughter channel about cross stitch. This is a mother daughter channel about cross stitch. Yes. How's everybody doing? Hello. Have you got everything all ready? Does your house look as festive as ours? I'm just saying. Because, you know, we were out of the country for a little bit. We were. And yet, it's the Sunday before Christmas. And we are ready to go. And we are prepped, man. Santa is coming. We've got it all set. We do. We so. Do. We do. Hope you are. Um, we got our tree today. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sure did. Got and one today. of the nicest trees we've ever had. I mean, it so, looks quite full, you know, does it not? All this advanced preparation, I don't know. I think it looks great. Go with the flow. You That's know, what I say. YOLO. Go with the flow. Let's. All Hope right. you've had a good week. Getting yes. ready for the holidays, if you do. Yep. And um, hope that you're not too stressed out because that gets you nowhere. Correct. Correct. And uh, hope you're looking forward to a wonderful week. Yes. Whether you are just going to have a quiet, peaceful holiday or whether you are expecting a crowd, yeah. Um, we hope that everything falls into place for you and you enjoy yeah. your holiday week. Yeah. How's that? That's lovely, Pam. All right. How um how How's was our, our week? last week? It, it was, was pretty good. Pretty good. I yeah. mean, it was Santa operating procedure on Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday was my birthday. Yes, uh, we had a little uh, birthday here. 32. At Shea Schaffner. 32. Um, so we had a <clears throat> um, a Stitch Con meeting on right. Wednesday. And then um, after the meeting, which was short and sweet, we all went out the entire Stitch Con crew. Yes. We all went out, uh, the team, we went out for. With one husband. With one, yeah, it was with uh, Sue Hillis' husband. Hello, Mr. Hillis. Yes. Um, we went out for dinner, and I was showered with love. Yes. And then uh, Thursday, I was off of work, and um, then on Thursday, uh, Pam and I have gone down to Montgomery and Boathouse every year for the last five years. I think this is our fifth year. Yeah. For my birthday, just the two of us, it's always amazing and delicious, and we have a great time. Yes. And then uh, one of the other holiday traditions that we've done for the last, this is our third year going, um, is the Christmas Nights of Lights down at Coney Island. Um, again, I say this every year, people. Mm -hmm. If you live in this area or you can get to Coney Island within a reasonable amount of time, it is worth it. Yes. It's worth it. Synchronized music, light show. From your car. From your car. No getting out. Right. No walking. Right. Perfect. Correct. The only thing you have to be sure of, which I did this year, is go tinkle ahead of time. Correct. And I did. Yes. So I was cool. And if you, this Just week, say. this upcoming week, week of Christmas... We'll probably be super busy because kids are out of school, all the things. Um, it, it's open from dusk until 10 p.m. And we went at like 7-ish. Yeah, it's kind of like a Mannheim Steamroller kind of Christmas music. Yeah. You know, kind of the jazz stuff, electronic stuff. Yeah. But well, with sense. some old tunes mixed in. Correct. It's just delightful. So it it's like... Plus, you don't have to get out of your car. Really reasonable holiday entertainment. Yep, six dollars a person. It's great. Get you in the spirit. It's so we did that uh, Thursday, Thursday after dinner. Yes, and before we talk about the rest of our week, I want to show some gifts I got from some of you lovely, lovely humans out there in the world. Right. Um, just as a public thank you to everyone who sent me a message, sent me a text, commented on my Instagram post, all the things, wrote on my Facebook wall, did all the lovely 
thing. So wish me a happy birthday. Thank you so much. It was right. so great. Yeah. Um, so let's show these. Let's show some stuff I got. So Barbara gave me this really cute hippo pouch. And it zippers. So I can keep all cute, my huh? keep all my coins in here, you know. All my all my pennies. Save them all. Yep. Very cute. And um yeah, this is stuff that's from the Stitch Comp Committee. So uh Jen Grimes, Puerto Rican Easter, she gave me this really cute card with this cat on it that says Kate Goes Here. She also gave me um some bunting, which is with our 4th of July ornaments already. I didn't want to mix holidays, so don't worry, Jen. For some strange reason, she hates bunting. I do. So it's an inside joke. I don't know why she doesn't That card like is not bunting. from Jen. Oh. I just opened that and realized it's not from oh. Jen. This is Jen. I don't have your card. Maybe did you give me a card? That's from Debbie, Minnesota Stitcher. Thank you, Debbie. I love that card. <laughs> this is a cool, ca cool Oops. card from Lenny, and she gave me a twelve pack of Mountain Dew. Always appreciate it. But Jen did give me. Okay, I'm not. Won't read these out loud because there's foul language. But everyone, look up now and read these cute socks. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And then um, she gave me a gift card to Graders, which is always always appreciated yeah let's just let's just say that. that yeah um okay and then this is a cute card from sue hillis and then she gave me a lovely gift card to get my car detailed yeah. and car cleaned for a new car my brand new car and so i decided that i'm going to wait until spring to utilize the gift card that way all the salt and crap you know, all that uh, gross stuff. And then there's so much tape on this. Um, and then that way. Oh, please. That way, when I get it detailed, we get all that stuff off of there. So I'm going to do that. And then this I got from uh, Nicole Buckeye Sticker. And pardon me because I have to. Um, I'm keeping notes on my phone since we're in front of the tree. So. Sorry about that. Not as much table space. Correct. And my mom got me this pretty card. Thanks, Pam. You're welcome. And then um, Susan, she got me this really cool box. It's one of those magnet boxes from uh, Joanne's, I think. And then she filled it with all sorts of goodies. There's a couple pairs of really warm socks, some caramels, and a chocolate bar, which, yes, please. <laughs> um, and then... This is not really placed all that well. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay. So, um, Lisa Kretzer, who we always refer to as the girl that put our faces on chocolate. Remember that? So, she got me um, this really pretty card. Thank you, Lisa. Well, Lisa lives up in Wisconsin, and we met her originally when she came to Keepsakes. And then, if you guys remember our Wisconsin wing ding that we did in August, um, we... Spent some time with Lisa in her town, and she came to the World Cross Stitch Day event and all of that. And, um, really, I think it's under my chair. Hold on, okay, sorry. Um, and so there's this thing called My Photo, yeah, My Photo, and I've seen it advertised on Instagram before. And I was like, that's a really cool idea. Well, Lisa had one made for me, and so you take an Instagram photo. And it puts it in this, like, paperweight it's situation. Cool. Or you can, like, just set it up like that. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I think that's super cool. Very cool. Um, and then, if you guys remember, we went to the Jelly Belly factory with Lisa. And she got me a package of jelly beans because sour jelly beans are my favorite. To be clear. Okay. And then I got a plethora of really nice cards, including the one from Debbie, Minnesota Stitcher. Uh, this is from Carol. Thank you, Carol. Um, this is from my Aunt Laura, who watches our videos. Thank you. And then this one actually came to Keepsakes from Donna, and it was um, Stephanie Care of Keepsakes. Look at all those pretty cats. Thank you so much. And then it seems, I think I might have got this card last year, but I love getting it every single year, I have to say. Yeah. Are you ready for this? This, this year it came from Kim. Wait for it. <laughs> Too 
fucking funny. Hilarious. Yeah. I die. Okay, and then I got a package from um, Miss Jenny, who you would know on Floss Tube as a Long Dog Stitcher. Mm -hmm. And it was the heaviest package. And I was like, what in the world is in here? So she sent me a lovely card. Thank you, Jenny. And I'm just saying, I love when people stitch stuff for me. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. My gift to you. It's so pretty. And you stitched on black for me, Jenny. That is devotion in the ocean. <laughs> and she put my initials and her initials. Yep. And it stuffed so well. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Jenny. I love it. I know I texted you and said thank you already, but I had to show it on the YouTubes. And then I got this funny card from uh, Lynn at the shop. Not my coworker, Lynn. Different Lynn. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. And then I got this card from the lovely Darla down in Kentucky. Hi, Darla. Thank you so much for my birthday card. And, um, okay, so, uh, I've talked about Colleen a little bit before, and she has two little kids, and she told her daughter that it was my birthday, and then her daughter wanted to make me a card, so she made me a card, and then she drew me these pictures, so this is a hoop, she, she described it to me, so I didn't have any problem, so this is a hoop. This is a needle. That's a cat. And then that says 310 and an arrow, like our shop cat 310. And then that is me, and that is her, and we're eating birthday cake. And then the best part is stitched like a champ with number one backwards on the back. And she, then the piece de resistance is that she stitched me a photo, a, pic, a photo, stitched me a picture of a unicorn. No, she didn't stitch it. She colored it. She colored it. Is that what I said? Did I say she stitched it? Yeah. Okay, well, she did not stitch it. This is, this is a... Clearly. Color, it's either crayon or colored pencil. I don't know, but this should go in the Museum of Art. Right. It's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, and then um, I, we saw Jan at the shop on Friday, and she gave me a lovely birthday gift as well. With this lovely card in it. And some cat page stickers. Aren't those hilarious? Yes. Those are good. And then... Um, also, she gave me some cat bobbins. Love those. Cute. And then um, last year, she gave me the bubble bath and pillow spray in the same scent. And I loved it. And it is the Comfort from Bath and Body Works. And I love it. It smells so good. And, okay. Oh, yeah. And then Colleen. I forgot to show this from Colleen. So... Do you guys remember, I think it's Lisha, um, I don't remember what her channel name is off the top of my head, but she makes like crocheted and knit items, I think they're crocheted, again, we don't know the difference, <laughs> um, and no offense to all those cro mm -mm. crocheters and knitters out there in the world, um, but she had, after I had tried the praline, Remember the F bomb, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the F bomb debacle of 2019, or was it 2018? I don't know. 2018. 2018. Yeah, definitely 2018. Um, and um, so she had crocheted me an actual bomb with the letter F on it mm -hmm. for F bomb. Get it? So then Colleen got me this little pin. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. And then. From Andy, Andy, uh, Katie's husband. You guys have heard me talk about Andy before. He actually gave me this um, before we left for Holland, and I've been saving it to show on it, our birthday, my birthday episode. It's a puzzle. Yep. And all the pieces have uh, red polka dots on the back of them. Incredibly cool shaped puzzles cut right to the edge. Wow. So that's what it looks like on the back. Isn't that, that cool? That might be a Christmas Day activity. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. And then, you guys, I'm dying over this. Um, the card with it, so I would not forget to talk about it. Okay, so this is from um, Michelle. 
And again, I won't read this out loud, but this is hilarious. Michelle in Maine? Yes. Ah. Dude. Yeah. Your, is, your, your crap was in our way. <laughs> so they knocked the point setters down. <laughs> and I have to show you this card. Yeah, the envelope. With all the stickers on it. It says this one is for Pam. Because it's an ice skate and alligator duck. <laughs> um, oh, man. And she sent me this. It's actually from the art of Edie Harper, who is Charlie Harper's hus a wife. Right. And you have heard us talk about Charlie Harper and how yeah. he's a local artist here. Did since you know then. Edie was also an artist? Yes. Correct. Yes. And this is a chart, um, Needlework Interpretation by Katie Artistry, and it's called Fishful Thinking. Isn't that the coolest? It's a big fish. It's a big cat in a fishbowl. I love this. I've never seen this before either, which is pretty wild. Yeah. So I'm all about that. Thank you, Michelle. I love it so much. And then my best friend, Kia. Thank you. Um, she, uh, now we've had a lot going on in December, okay? And she had sent me a message like a while ago. We talk every day, so this is at least a couple weeks ago. Asked me if I had this particular Blackbird Designs chart, and I said no. I thought maybe she wanted it for herself. I don't know what, but I was so busy, and I was just like, nope, don't have that. Well, she was asking me because she bought it for me, and it is happy birthday. By Blackbird Designs. It's in the plastic bag because it's all... Because she got it all kitted up for me. Can you see those threads? Yep. All kitted up. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, dear friend. I love that. So... Very nice. That's going in my kitted up pile for 2020. Yeah. And that's all my birthday gifts. But I, yeah. wanted, to, I wanted to show everybody all the lovely gifts I got. So You did well. Thank okay. You. So... Thank you, Pam. Uh, after all the festivities were over, uh, we did spend the day <coughs> Friday at the shop. You sure did. And uh, we had a very nice day. Yes. Um, nothing, nothing exciting out of the order. or out of the ordinary happened. No. Um, necessarily, a lot of people came in and, oh, Cecilia dropped by. Cecilia Turner from yes. uh, Heart and Hand. Hand. Just right. dropped by to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Wasn't yes. that nice? And it Isn't was lovely it? to see her. Yes. And um, she uh, and I chatted a little bit about uh, things we saw in Europe. Mm -hmm. And um, she and uh, her husband uh, have traveled um, around quite a bit. And, of course, she knows Anna Meek. So yes. we had a lovely chat. And um, it was wonderful to see Cecilia. Always yes. wonderful to see Always. Cecilia. Always. Always. So that was probably the highlight of our day at the shop yeah, on Friday. For sure. was probably, yeah. 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 So uh, that brought us to the weekend. Yes. And, um, Yesterday was a lovely day because I didn't have anything I had to nope. do. There was nothing in my nope. calendar that if didn't get done, I would right. be we put, hurting someone's feelings. Yeah, we picked up the uh, license plates at the um, Big exciting. Ford dealer. But that was Thursday. And so we put them on. Yeah. Uh, Saturday. Big exciting things. Big excitement. Um, and her uh, pristinely clean brand new car yep. is getting pooped upon by a lot of birds over at the shop. It is. So it was time to run through the car, car wash. Yes. That was the excitement of yesterday. It was, and it was glorious. And it was wonderful. We have had abnormally warm weather the last few days. It's mm -hmm. going to be even warmer on oh, Christmas, Christmas Day. They say here we're going to see 60 or above, which is insane. Wow. Uh, so we're taking advantage of the nice weather. Mm -hmm. And um, we went down to the nursery nearby and picked mm -hmm. out our tree today and sure got did. it up. And yep. Stephanie did all the all the decorating, mm -hmm. and it looks absolutely lovely. Pam did the heavy looking on. I, I like to sit and direct. So Correct. That's just me. I'd say, where's I like empty hall? a lot is what I like to do. Yes. So, um... That pretty much sums up our week. Yes, our plan for Christmas videos. Right. Um, so we'll have our regularly scheduled video next week, the sure. Sunday after Christmas, obviously. Right. Um, and then included in that video um, is going to be our quote-unquote tour de wall. Right. Um, you all seem to really enjoy the format that we use for Halloween, so we will do the same for Christmas. Right. Um, and with the ornaments. With and. 
with the pieces hanging on the wall. And the pieces on the wall. Yeah, that's right. We used a different format at Halloween. Right. And then rather than just kind of gliding the camera over the wall. When right. And having of, you'd say, oh, this is from this. This is yeah. from this. That way people can pause it and yeah. write stuff down. Anyway. Um, and so we don't have, we didn't really focus on Christmas ornaments in 2019. So no. there will not be a JKS Christmas ornament issue this year. No. Um, sorry if you were really looking forward to that, yeah. but we really wouldn't have anything to show that we yeah. have done ourselves. Right. We maybe have done like two. So the tree contains all pre-stitched items. And gifts that we've received over the year. And the ornaments uh, and gifts that we've received over the years. Yeah. Um, several of them are from um, the lovely people we met and yeah. Um, the meetup in, Europe. in um, oh and all yeah other places Correct. other places in Europe so Correct. so look for that um, tour yeah. next week right. um, it's for the first time not first time but yeah for the first time in a Christmas tour to wall that I'll have my own stuff up on the wall yeah yeah finally got finally some FFOs from Steph yeah so, so that's yeah. exciting so um, that pretty much brings us to <laughs> Okay. What does this mean, Pam? This means it's time for Pam's Spin Comment. Yeah, that's exactly what and it means. we don't really um, have just one because uh, we've been we've been making videos pretty steadily since our return. Yes, we have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I have three Pam's <laughs> Pin Comments. I have a Pam's Pin Comment from 126A. Mm -hmm. I have a Pam's Pin Comment from 126B. <laughs> sure and do. I have a Pam's Pin Comment from 127. Yeah. So the first one is from one of the lovely ladies we met in Roden, the Netherlands. Yes. And I believe uh, her name is Gia or Gaia. I'm not sure. G -E -A. I think it's Gia. You think it's Gia? Yeah. Okay. If or you Gia. Follow, or Gia. Ooh, sorry, I wish I remembered. I don't. Anyway, if sorry. you follow me on Instagram, you saw pictures of myself, yours truly, and her husband. Because her husband came in to uh, pick her up after mm -hmm. the event was over. And he was just adorable. So, yeah. this is this is the gal. She says, ha ha, that's my husband you're talking about at the end of the video. He came to pick me up and wanted to meet, quote, the ladies that prevent us from watching Netflix together. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> because I then tell him, not now, I am watching Pam and Steph. I will put the photo I made from him and you, Pam, on my Instagram, and it's at Feather Stitcher. It was a great day, and I'm thrilled I got to meet both of you. Thank you. We're thrilled so, to meet you. You'll find those in my Instagram feed, and I uh, pinned her comment to the top. Yes. For 126B, the second half of our trip video, mm -hmm. um, that um, the comment from Terry T E R I uh, L L. Uh, <laughs> this just tickled me so much. She said. She said. For a couple of women from Ohio who don't like to go outside, <laughs> let me just say, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your vlogging daily and then editing your trip for all of us to enjoy. Glad you all had such a wonderful time. Thank you for taking us along with you. So, Terry, it was our pleasure. Yes. And I love the reference to how we, we don't really go don't outside. go outside much. Yes. And then for last week's video, which, are, which was our... First regular video after our return comes from our dear friend Gina from Philly. Hi, you know Gina. who you are. Hi, Gina. And this is her comment. And the Oscar for a miniseries or documentary <laughs> made for YouTube goes to dot, 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 our trip to Europe by Pam and Steph. Thank you so much. So thank you, Gina. So that was super, super cute. We know, you know we love you. And I'd um, like to thank the Academy. Yeah, we'd like to thank the Academy. So, yes. uh, Pam's been comments from the last three videos, yes. pretty much. Let's talk about stitching, shall we? Okay, you say that every week. Well, that's a, need to come up that's with some a new marker lines, for Pam. people. No, that's a marker for people. They know what's coming. All right. I so, had a new start this week. You know what? I left mine way over there. Pam, hold on. Hold on. Okay, back. Okay, sorry. All right. 
So I had a new start this week, as I was saying, <clears throat> and I have been uh, toting around new start, like kitted up things since Wisconsin Wing Ding. And, um, so this is one that's been, that's gone with me everywhere. Cause I'm like, maybe I'll like to start that. Well, I didn't start it until this week. And, um, I know that I'm pretty confident that I either, well, I don't know. I think it was gifted to me. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. So, um, I'm really sorry if you were the one that gifted it to me and I don't remember. Um, but it is, but she likes it a lot. I really do. Um, it's from the Prairie Schooler. And it is Let It Snow, the 2007 le Limited Ooh. Edition. So that is what it looks like. And it was a full kit when sent to me or purchased by me. I don't remember. Um, and it came with a needle. It came with 28 count natural linen. It came with um, the threads, which are crescent colors because 07. Excuse me. And, of course, the chart. So, um so I started on it. Um, my I typically like to stitch on 32 counts, so stitching on 28 is a nice change of pace. I will have I have to say, and so this is how much I got done so far, and I love it. Let's That's a lot. Game. You you just have just been speeding through this. I love it. Yeah. I it's think they're super, so super cute. cute. Yeah. So I started up here, yeah. obviously, and then I was like, well, let me get the first top half done. Does this help or no? Does this help? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So, um, and it's interesting. Like, I, there, I don't think that anything is wrong with the threads. They are perfectly fine. So, um, I mean, they Why would there be anything wrong well, with Well, like, the th them be dried out or something. Oh, because they're it's been around 13 a years. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. So, the threads aren't, I don't have a problem with okay. them, though. So, okay. um, and they are all still colors that they make. Why don't you have your thing on this side? Because when I put it on, it covers up Oh, you're this. showing it. Yes. Okay. This is for display purposes only. Okay. Um, and it's interesting because the photo, the fabric looks lighter. And so I'm anticipating the white to show up a lot better than the photo indicates. Oh, yeah. So the only thing that I'm going to change, I know that it's like crazy. To change things on Prairie Schooler. Um, I just can't get over this green snowman. Yeah, we had this discussion on an earlier floss. We too. did. And so and I didn't like it, to... and I liked it, and then a whole bunch of people chimed in, and most of them agreed with you. I know. They didn't like it. Because they know what's good for them. Ah! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the smoke stacks to white. I'm going to change the snow, like the flakes, the individual individual stitches to white i'm gonna have his hat which is nope i'm gonna have his hat be black maybe i'll make his hat green i don't know uh, i think i'm gonna make his hat black because the stove top you do what you want to do and then um make the snowman himself white i will leave the fence green so the green and green color balance situation yeah we had this discussion it's all coming back to me yes now. but i just cannot do a green snowman valid so perfectly um, valid thank you pam so that is what i'm going to do and i think it will look really fantastic good thank you so much because you say the fabric is dark enough for it to show up right exactly yeah. if i didn't think that it would show up then i might reconsider but yeah. no it's yeah. going to show up just fine okay good so that's what i'm going to do okay um and i am um I I see, the, I see the I see the light at the end of the tunnel with my early Americans from I'm Little so House. Proud of you, Pam. And um, it's been enjoyable right down to the the last stitch I put in about twenty minutes ago. I am down to Molly Pitcher, who um, her real last name was Hayes, by the way. Uh, Molly Pitcher, and all I have to do is finish her name. So um, yeah. Yeah, that helps a little, I guess. Um, that house was a bit of a slog. Was it really? Because of all the windows? Well, it's most of it, this part between the windows, is timber. Okay. By Classic Color Works. Classic Color Works. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot of great green and brown variegation in it. Mm hmm and so I like to play with that a little bit. So oh. there was a little bit of... Um, so you did it to yourself. Well, 
I just, <laughs> when I pulled off strands, I was just kind of like, okay, so there's brown here. Let me add a little difference here, you know, oh, just I to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just That's to right. make it. So anyway, and Molly Pitcher, Molly Pitcher Hayes, and um, she is famous, if you don't know, for uh, actually fighting on the battlefield during the revolution. Mm -hmm. um, she, um, she also was famous for bringing water to the troops. And so she's holding a pitcher. She sure is. And um, there's a cannon. You saw the cannon. Mm -hmm. And That's awesome, um, yeah. most of the story around Molly Pitcher revolves around the Battle of Monmouth. Mm -hmm. So the house that they call the Molly Pitcher house mm -hmm. um, is on the Battle of Mon Monmouth um, Battlefield Park, gotcha. if you will. So, gotcha. Uh, when as soon as I finish it, probably tonight, I'll probably be posting on Instagram with the actual house that is known as the Molly Pitcher House. Correct. And then following my completion of her mm -hmm. square, I will be doing Vonna Pfeiffer's Border, which is on Vonna's blog, The Twisted Stitcher. Yep. And it'll be done. And, and, I'll, and Stephanie found out from her notebook she keeps that i started early americans on new year's day this year mm -hmm. and so i am on target to complete this very big project i mean you have a week and a half to do a border basically true i'll, I'll make it i'll make it ahead of time well between no. now and new year's day. okay so that's my question are you gonna finish it are you gonna like hold the last stitch probably and not unless you want me to i think it would be fun so i guess i will okay good um Thanks. but anyway so that's my whip okay and i've been working on it solely we're sort of in discussions with some of our whistle stop crew about maybe working on whips through 2020 with a few exceptions mm -hmm. and um i have some pieces i would like to focus on and finish right, right and right. so so it's more like focusing than than totally restricting ourselves restricting ourselves Strictly, we we obviously have smalls exchanges throughout the year. We're doing Steph and I had year. already decided we're going to do two ornaments a month. One one ornament a month. One ornament a month. We're each doing one ornament, so there'll be two ornaments a month per the two of us. Oh, okay. So we have our we have. Um, I I want to meet my next goal point for Pam's Main mm -hmm. by roughly the end of March. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, uh, we are doing samplers next year and we're doing samplers because of the Mayflower, mm -hmm. um, commemoration yes. and we have those to start. Yep. Um, and we have, I want to do a tell an emblem design oh, since, yeah, yeah. um, she is going to be at stitch away yes. next month. Yep. So there are a few little exceptions, but by and large, um, we're gonna. We're I'm gonna. Whips. I at least I'm gonna hold off on doing a lot, a lot, a lot of new starts. We'll get back to you in May. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Best laid plans, right? It's time for the bell. Okay. So I have been working on uh, part three of Snow Village, which I finished this week. And since Barbara was not at the shop on Friday, I have it here and I will take it to her tomorrow. Right. So that is my finish and I love it. Yeah. It was so much fun to stitch, you guys. Yeah. So much fun. So we are, we are a pace for that. We are we, up because four hasn't come out yet, right? We don't, we haven't gotten our shipment of four at the shop yet. Wow. So. Okay. That's great. So we're holding out hope, you know. We don't even know what it looks like or we just oh, haven't you, received oh, it. Oh, we know what it looks like. It's peppermint. Oh, it's remember? that peppermint thing. With the striped house. Who gets that? Me. Okay. <laughs> because I worked my tail off to get that stupid thing finished. Not stupid, oh, thing. stupid thing. I uh, get that thing, get that number three done so I could get stitch number four because i want to stitch the striped house okay sounds good real to me. bad i have plenty to keep me on i know you do okay so happy, happy finishes, finishes everyone. everyone okay all right let's talk promotions okay let's do that okay <laughs> all right so 
um, we got our um, Crazy Annie Color and Cotton Floss of the Month right. shipment. Right. Um, I wish I could... T I'm sorry, I'm not trying to ignore you. I'm writing down my notes so I don't forget. Um, I wish I could tell you if this was November or December. I'm pretty confident this is December's. Um, so this would be the last shipment of the year. Right. Um, so bittersweet, you know. Yeah. Um, and so, um, so yes. Okay. So let's show off the pretty things, shall we? Okay. So, um, we get three packages of five, five colors. Whoa. Going down again. <laughs> um, Three packages of five skeins, and they're all incredibly gorgeous, per usual. And the first package is primitive. All right, so this is ooh, pale ochre, right? Is that how you say that? What is it? O C R E? O C H R E. Yeah. Okay, pale ochre. Mm hmm. And then almond latte. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. And then cardamom. Very pretty, too. And then Mojave, as in the desert. Very pretty gold. Love that. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I love this one. Forest, but it's kind of like a blue, like a dusty blue. And I really love that. All right. Um, and then, okay. So then the next package is what they call the All Colors, which we also get five skeins of as well. So it's a mixture of the primitive color and the bright colors. And this is called Marsh. Really pretty gray. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is chestnut, which actually has a purpley hue to it. It's like a purpley brown rose color. It's really pretty. They're all really pretty. You guys know I say that every time. Really, Stephanie? <laughs> Just dropped one on the ground. Uh, this one is called Seahorse. Oh, I like that. It's like a like a lime green, but not like blow your face off lime green. Blow your face. <laughs> you heard it here first. Okay. And this one is. Ooh, I love that. Yes. This one's called Nile. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. That's really gorgeous. And then this one is called Caramel Apple or Caramel Apple. Either one. Pretty. All right. And then the brights are always my favorite. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're so bright. Yeah. Um, so. These are the bright colors for this month. Oh, ooh, oh, look at that one. Oh, my good night. Okay, so this one is called, ooh, I like this one, called mm -hmm. Limeade. Oh, yeah. It looks like lime sherbet. Yep. It's awesome. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, this one is called Bargello. Look how crazy this is. Mm. That would be good for a monochrome piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or something. That's Halloween thing, yes. maybe. This one, oh, I like this. Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. Love it. Kia, look up. Um, and this is called Parlor, but it's spelled P-A-R-L-O-U-R. Love mm. that. I really like that. Mm. And then I think one of my favorites from the batch is a Mermaid's Folly. Yeah. Which is a bright tealy blue green. Gorgeous. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. So those are the threads of the month for this month and for 2019. Um, yeah. And so if um, that would, if, as long as what I'm thinking is correct and that we have no more threads coming to us, um, then that concludes our promotion of color and cotton for this year. So it's been so fun to yeah. grow our color and cotton stash. A huge thank you to Angela and to Annie for... Yeah, um, we love color and cotton threads. Yes, and for having us be a part of it this year, Absolutely. which has been super fun. Yeah. And we hope that if you are one of those wonderful people who signed up for the club because you heard about it through us, we hope that you've enjoyed it just as much as we have. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. All right. So then um, the second thing really, really quickly I wanted to show you um, or tell you about is that I got a message from Miss Karen Torres from uh, So Much to Love. And she has informed me that the 2020 Bag of the Month Club is in fact full. 
So, which is great. Which is fantastic nice, news. Nice problem to have. Yes. And I bet seeing that December bag pushed people over the edge. I'm just saying. What you doing, Pam? I'm just checking what Mo's doing at the tree. She's not going to eat the tree. Well, I don't know what she's doing. But. Okay. Um, so, for 2020, um, we are going to obviously show you the bags and all the wonderful goodies we get. Um, whenever the package arrives. Sure. Um, and if you have not signed up for the club um, and you see a bag that you love in 2020, mm -hmm. we'll remind you this when we show you bags as well. Yeah. Um, she, Karen, puts any extras that she has up on her Etsy shop. So every week that we right. talk about it, we also link to her Etsy shop. Um, and so if you love a bag that we show and you are not in the club, check out her Etsy first thing first. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And then our third promotion is a Twin Peak Primitives Patterns, plural, of, patterns. of the weeks, plural. Yes. So we started this last week. And so for all the Sundays for the rest of 2019, we have a trio of Christmas designs. Until New Year's Eve day. Until New Year's Eve day. Okay, yeah. great. Um, that all of, so we have a trio of Christmas designs right. that the twins have so wonderfully discounted 30%. And um, so you don't have to buy all three. You can just buy one. You can buy two. You can buy all three. Um, you don't have to do them in one shot. You could have bought one last week and bought another one this week. But just know that they are all 30% off. You just need to mention that you heard about our channel, th heard about them through our channel to get your discount right and those three charts are christmas advent calendar mm -hmm. winter around a salt box and twin peak santa 2019 mm -hmm. so um w before i tell you how you can purchase your charts we will insert photos of said charts here, here. All right. So, nice variety. So I think so. Make sure you pick those up. 30% off. Man, yes. what a deal. So if you'd like to pick those up, here's how you do it. There are three ways that you can go about doing that. One is you can get a digital copy from two pl different places. You can get it either from their Twin Peak Primitives website or Twin Peak Primitives on Etsy. Um, or if you are someone who would rather have a hard copy, that is obviously fine. Um, you just can only get your hard copy discounted through Beach Cottage Stitchers. So they are linked below as well. Again, with Beach Cottage, you need to mention that you heard about the discount through our channel to have the discount applied at checkout. Okay. And then we will come back in 2020 with a brand new pattern of the week every week for the whole year. Absolutely. So yay. Yeah, we love our girls in the Netherlands. We and, surely do. Um, those are three great, great patterns. They are. All right. Okay, Pam. Well, so that brings us to mail call. And of course, it's Christmas, so it is. we're going to show off our cards. So we probably spent, we probably sent something in the ballpark of 250 Christmas cards this year. Yeah. Um. And we are not saying that to make anyone feel bad for not sending out Christmas cards. We just really like doing it. Right. Um, and so um, we know that a lot of people have received theirs already. So that's really amazing. Right. Um, but the point of me telling you that is because we know and understand and appreciate the amount of time it takes to send out Christmas cards. Right. Whether you send out two or 200, it doesn't matter. It takes right. time and effort to do that. And so we... Our mailbox gets flooded with Christmas cards every year, and we love it. Right. So um, I'm just going to really quickly go through and show you all the Christmas cards and give credit to where credit is due. All right. So this is from Becky G. Thank you, Becky. That's super cute. It is. This one got ripped in transit, Ellen, and I'm so sorry about that. Right. I'm so sorry, but it's really... Jan's sister, Ellen. Yes. Yes. But it's really cute, and we're going to tape it. Yep. Okay. This one is from Carol. Look at those. Super cute. Dogs on a sled. This this I love. I yeah. don't know why I love, but I do. This is from Ruthie. Christmas card. 
I'm like, this is my kind of card. All right. Um, this is from Kelly, who is, um, who we met, um, who went to the Netherlands with us. Right. Her and her cute family. Yeah. I love the family ones. I don't know why. Um, this is from Connie. Hey, uh -huh. Connie. Uh, this came from the lovely Chris of Crafton Chris. Right. Um, and anyone who is a floss tuber that sent us cards, I will link their channel below. Yeah. Um, so this is the beautiful card that she sent us. Love that. Yes. And then she made us these super adorable coasters. Yeah. Love it. Thanks, Chris. Aren't they so cute? Yeah. Oh, with these really pretty backing on them. Oh, love them. Super cute. Love them. Perfect for my hot cocoa. Right. This card is bananas. Ah. Isn't that cool? This yeah. is from Jerry. Oh, yeah. Oh, it says handmade by Jerry. Holy moly. You're like an engineer. Which Jerry is that? Jerry. That one. You gotta pull it by the ribbon, Pam. You gotta pull oh. it by the ribbon. <laughs> Engineering cards. Oh, okay. There you okay. go. Okay, this one. You know a couple of Jerry's. Are you ready? <laughs> Too much. Oh my gosh, I think that's hilarious. That's from Sue. Thank you, Sue. <laughs> this one I think is Pam's favorite so far oh, this, this year. Oh, this is my favorite. This is from Michelle, this... Maine Moose Mom. Don't you love it? I want to put that in a frame. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'll keep it in my room. Okay, yeah. Keep it in your room. I love him. This He's is... laughing. Oh, sorry. We're on to the next already, Pam. Okay. This is from Linda. Thank you, Linda. That's I like cute. this one a lot. I don't That's know why. Cute. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this lovely card came... Oh, Gosh, almost dropping dropped it. everything today. Almost dropped it again. Um, this is from uh, Colette at Highway Stitcher Colette. Super cute. This card. And then she also sent us... This one is for Pam. It's a Patriotic DMC. And this one is for me. It's called Lagoon from Color and Cotton. I love it. Put that with the Color and Cotton. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Thank you, Colette. Um, and then this one, I think, is a freaking hoot. This is from your friend and ours, Ellen Reed. Uh, yeah. You know, Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. Uh-huh. They see you when you're sleeping. They know when you're awake. That's hilarious to me. And then yes. she also addressed it to Holy Moly and Banana Pants, which are basically our given names. So there you go. Um, this is from Jenny, Long Dog Stitcher, again with the family. I can't. They're so cute. <laughs> um, my friend Colleen, I talked about. Look at this. Look at those dogs. I mean, those kids are really cute, but look at those dogs. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Uh, this card is from Nayla. Pretty card. It reminds me of Minnesota, which is where she's from. Right. Uh, okay. Next is uh, from Heidi up in Canada. Heidi Cran. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty that is. Yes. Thanks, Heidi. Thanks, Heidi. Um, this one, which is um, our first duplicate of the season we always get at least one card that's duplicate duplicated and this is from deb at punch film from your sister magazine thanks Thank deb. deb we love you uh, okay this is from uh ryan at um wild violet cross stitch yeah. thank you so much ryan thanks ryan and this is from jan not our finisher jan different jan but i love this i yes. love when there's cross stitch involved in the card yes um, this is from Ray. Very I love cute. that. Yes. This one is a super crazy cool. It came from England. Yes. It is Helen plus size stitcher. Look yes. at that. To Pam instead. That's so professional. I know. Well, uh, how do you do that? There's a there's a website. No kidding. Look on that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so this this is from Kim. That's awesome. Okay, sorry. Nope, you're fine. I just want to make sure you're done. I am. I'm okay. holding this so they don't fall down. Okay, so this is this is from Kim. And there's two cats. And the one cat says, pull your own stupid sleigh, fat boy. And then the other one says, yawn. Why Santa doesn't use cats? <laughs> Very true, Kim. Very true. 
Oh, that's funny. Um, and I think, are these the ones that we showed last week? Maybe. Because uh, I think I did. Yes. Yes. You mm -hmm. left them on the table. Nope. Nope. This one's new. Oops. You sure? Nope, that one's not. Uh, I know that one was last week. Really? Oh, shoot. Debbie, Minnesota Stitcher. Yeah. Love that. She sent my birthday and Christmas cards the same day. No, this one, we got this one this week. Oh, so okay. So this is from um, Nicole Buckeye Stitcher. <laughs> and, okay, so Nicole, first of all, you said the funny Christmas card selection was lacking this year. I think this is freaking hilarious. Oh, yeah. We, we thought this was hysterical. Have you seen the tinsel? No. Yeah. Notice. Tinsel. Yeah. yeah. Tinsel. Yeah. <laughs> Have all the holiday fun you can get away with. Hilarious. Love it. Love it. Um, this one, I love this one, too. This is from Beth. Right. We love the stamp. I don't know why. Yeah, I that's adorable card. card. Um, from Debbie. Mm -hmm. Lots of Debbies in the Stitching community. You know who you are. Yep. Here you go. Yep. From our dear friend, a.k.a. my aunt, not birth aunt, but whatever, and Pam's other sister, Marcy. They always come up with something hilariously creative. Those crazy Jasons. They do. Thank you, Marcy. Yep. Um... From Susan. Yes. I'm I love, California. I like this card too. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. And this is from Kathy. Yep. At To Die House. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, nope. To Die House. Okay. And then uh, Kathleen at Kathleen's Trodden Trail. She's had a wonderful year, it looks yes. like. Yes. And. Yep, so I separated them. I know I did. So um Angie also had a good year. Yeah. Well you gonna have a big one this year. I mean coming up next year. She's got two weddings. Wow. Two weddings. I like to have one. Um, oh yeah. From Pam Ormsby, stitching between the lines. Yep. Thank you so much. Yep. Pam. All right, and then last but certainly not least is from Karen Macon. Yeah. Thanks, Karen. Love it. Thank you guys so much for all the Christmas yes. love. We yes. love it so, so much. Yes. All right, you have the rest of the mail call. I have the rest of the mail call. Well, wow. that, this was dropped here. Yep. Okay. So this was dropped off for, well, from uh, Jan Reader. She is a big fan of ours. She lives locally. She came in the shop on Friday, and she gave us a Christmas gift. So it's sort of... Sort of mail call, sort of not. Mm -hmm. But she watched our Dutch Mania recap videos, heard all about us going to the Christmas market, and she bought brought us two cri their Christmas Chris Kindle market. Yeah, in Chicago. In Chicago. So they're for your for your glue wine, your love wine. Yeah, and they're so cute. They're, they're just boots. adorable. So thank you. Jane. Yes, thank you. We love them. Yes. So we'll go with our. Can we put all of our little wine mugs in the china cabinet? Sure. Just to preserve them. Um. Okay. Yep. Yep. That all goes together, Pam. Okay. Pam doesn't usually have the mail call in her chair. <coughs> this is from Shelly. Yes. Shelly. Yes, Shelly, and she made us that, or she gave us that too. Okay. And she gave us the. Oh mugs. yeah, Shelly. I'm, I'm recalling now. Okay. Look at this lovely mat. Candle mat. mat. Love that. Candle mat or whatever table mat. Isn't that cute? So cute. Yeah. And we each got a card. Uh, yeah. Shelly M. Yeah. Yes. yes. And we each got a card, like you said. Yes. And Shelly's coming to StitchCon. Yes. And we each got little notions pouches. We sure did. And look at how cute. Isn't Look how freaking cute? cute that is. Isn't that cute? I love it. And there's the contrasting. I mean, mine's cute too because mine has cats and books on it. Thank you, Shelly. That was lovely. Thank you so much. And this came in the mail as well. Yep, that is for and you. You can tell. What about these? Yeah, those came with these. Oh, the waxers? Yes. Came with the from, pouches. From Shelly. Yes. So we each got a brick. Two beeswax bricks and a really and lovely is note. This, is this a note from Shelly? It is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Shelly, for the nice note. Yes. And um, 
then um, this note went with this. Yes, it sure did. So we got a lovely note from Marilyn. Oh, Shelly's not coming to StitchCon. Just as an aside. I read that wrong. Oh, okay. She's going to, on stitching on the seas to Alaska instead. Wow. Wow. I'll, I'm sure that'll be some trip. Seriously. Holy moly. Okay. Sorry. So um, this is from Marilyn. And she enclosed a very old Stony Creek. She tore the pages out, which is perfectly cool with me. Yep. From January, February, 1998. It's a good year. It's a good and year. And this is, does it have a title? Let's check. It does the Mayflower. This is the Mayflower. And I really like this chart for the Mayflower. Look at that. Can you see that? It's awesome. It looks like you're looking out the kitchen window and the Mayflower is coming right at you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, the Mayflower is coming. Look, you know. Yeah. It's lovely and it has a verse on it. And you're gonna I read them really the verse, like or? it. Uh, can I see it from way I back can. Here? You want me to read it? Uh, a voyage nope. <laughs> of 66 days, <laughs> 120 passengers, 25 crewmen and 3,000 miles brought the pilgrims pilgrims to the new to world. the new world sorry cause like, math yeah so but isn't that cool though it's very cool yeah sorry for the glare but you know Stony Creek magazine right but I Lovely. really like that well and I've good, never Pam. seen it so thank you very much, Marilyn. That was very sweet. It was. Okay. Any other mail call? Nope. That's it. All right. Well, what a great mail call. Of course, mostly cards, but we love them. Right. We love them. Yes. Gets us in the Christmas All right. spirit. So the Come next thing is haul. We don't have much. Nope, we don't. But what we got Why is are wonderful. You yelling? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what a great mail call. <laughs> We're a little punchy. <laughs> we don't have much. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So this is how we are twenty four. <laughs> no. Yeah. More like uh, more we like got, we got our fabric from the month from under the sea, and we, we did. Love, we love the sea fabric. Fabric. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, this is uh, we always get thirty two Joblin. Yes. And this month it's icicle. And it is absolutely mm. gorgeous. It's so pretty. Can you tell this is a very pale... It's a pale purple. purple. It's not really showing up it's as... It's probably showing up more blue than purple. Yes, but it is more purple. But it's 32 Joblin, and it's it just like... It's going to be like stitching on butter. Butter. It's just gorgeous. Thank it you, is. Leslie, for all your hard work. I know you've, you've just, you know, worked your little tail off. We love you. And we love you. Um, and I have one chart that I purchased this Hang week. Hang on. Hang on to your pants. I only bought one chart. Um, but I've seen a lot of people stitch this and from the picture, I didn't really like it. And then I saw a lot of people stitch it. And then I got the newsletter from Country Sampler and I was like, man, I gotta get that. Yep. So this is from Chessie and me. It's called Be Merry Pin Pillow. And I just think it's very sweet. So you've seen it stitched. I'm uh -huh. not. I'm not really enamored of it from the picture. Right. Neither as was I. Often the case. Neither was I. But you saw it stitched. Huh? I did. I saw it on Instagram stitched, okay. and I was like, okay. "Dang, that's cute." Okay. So. So wow, that's it. You that's know, it we might home. have spent our money other places and for other reasons. Correct. But we did not buy a whole lot of stuff. Yes. All right. So. Um, so our plans are. Our plans are to um, have a very nice, quiet, quiet. Christmas. Christmas, just the two of us. Um, we have heard from the kids in New Mexico. They're yep. doing well. Mm -hmm. My daughter-in-law's birthday is was Monday this week, uh -huh. and um, they had a great time with their friends out there. Mm -hmm. And um, so, it'll just be Steph and I here. We are gonna. Uh, we're me. actually gonna prepare a meal. Do you believe it? We are. We're not gonna um, get takeout. No, we're not gonna get takeout. Um, <laughs> we had a brilliant idea to do. Um, DoorDash last night. Oh my gosh, hilarious. <gasps> Stephanie, you know, you can do DoorDash and you could follow it on your phone mm -hmm. on the map where your where your dasher is. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, 
Within Spice. within a half a second, Stephanie realized that the food was going to the keepsakes. <laughs> She had she had to quick call them up and say, um, can we change can you that? Like, tell them because there's to... nobody who keeps saying to pick up that. Nope, especially anyway, not me. We're getting punchy. Yes. Okay. Um, so getting, getting punchy. Getting so. Uh, yes. So it'll be a nice Christmas, and we it hope will. you have one too. And um, I do want to tell all the people yeah. near and far, especially right. if there are. Any peop anyone out there in the world who is planning on being in Cincinnati over the holidays and are hoping that you might be able to make come stop in keepsakes, mm. um, I want to let everyone know that we will be closed from 2 p.m. December 24th, Christmas Eve, until 11 a.m. January 3rd. Wow. So we're basically closed from Christmas until after New Year's. Yep. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah. Um, and so once we come back, we'll be getting ready for Stitchway and all the things. I mean, we've been getting ready for Stitchway for a while, but yeah. it's a final Stitchway push. But, um, you know, we all have had quite a year, yeah. all of the staff at Keepsakes. And yeah. so we're really just going to take this time to spend it with our families and relax yeah. and stitch a little bit. You yeah. Know? Yeah. You know, so um, I apologize if you're coming to Cincinnati out of town and you'll be here over those dates and want to come visit Keepsakes and we'll be closed, but it is the season. So, right. Um, so, yeah. So I'm excited yeah, about that. Yeah. Good that you mentioned that. We are, we, uh, last year, um, we did something a little special on Instagram on New Year's Eve. We're still trying to uh, figure out. If we want to do something for New Year's Eve or not, and if we do what we're going to do, it would be a live Instagram on New Year's Eve. So <laughs> just kind of keep that in mind if you are um, home stitching and, and watching Floss Tube or whatever mm -hmm. and want to share it with other stitchers, um, stay tuned and we'll we'll yeah. let you know what we're going to be doing for if, sure. if we decide to do something. We for have a sure. couple of ideas we're batting around. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, we want to make sure that we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. And have a great holiday week. Happy um, Hanukkah as well. Hanukkah starts tonight. Absolutely. And when um, we see you in a week or so, mm -hmm. we'll be looking forward to the new year. We so, will be. Um, just try to um, not stress about things too much. Yeah. That's not what the holidays are about. Right. And um, if you're traveling, um, we hope everything goes smoothly that way, whether it's on the ground or in the air or on the sea or on the sea <laughs> however i don't know people take boats places still that's, i guess yeah um anyway so we wish you safe travels if you're traveling and we wish you yes. a very very merry christmas and remember from, to be kind to one another yes and um that's from our house to yours yeah so until we see you after christmas yes i'm pam and i'm stephanie and this is just, just keep, keep stitching. stitching bye, bye.